patients. I'm singer in the great. I'm John, the guitarist. The guitar driver. <laughs> And we're here in, um, in a beautiful, like, it's barely cloud in the sky day in New York. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to be in, on a roof, like, you know, on a rooftop bar. I love how they put, like, um, like all the palm trees and everything around, you know, and then the wood. It makes it feel really, like, tropical treat as well. <laughs> it's, it's like a home away from home. Yeah. But I don't have any palm trees at my home, so it's like a better have home. One. One. <laughs> massive one, stupid massive one. No, we just we just started briefly talking about this before. You guys spent quite a bit of time in New York over the past few years, been back and forth. Is yeah. is is this a home away from home now almost? I think yeah. it kind of is now, yeah. Yeah, it definitely. I think it's definitely a home away from home, especially um especially Brooklyn because we spent a lot of time living in Brooklyn and Manhattan was always. Manhattan's always just so much fun, and but I always I get that feeling like uh, there is a really big difference in pace, like coming from from Brooklyn to Manhattan. I mean, Manhattan's just go 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 all the time. Whereas Brooklyn's kind of got like a more, I guess it's sort of on par in a way with like Melbourne. So I always feel like, especially over in, in, in Brooklyn, I've got like a sense of home and familiarity, and it's sort of more chilled out. And I come to Manhattan, it's just like yeah. Manhattan, Manhattan. <laughs> So, but I feel like I know where everything is, and I have my favorite. I know where my favorite places are. So that's that's all home is. Where the heart is. I've got my heart at Baby Cakes, a vegan bakery. So how many times? Uh, I mean, sorry. Uh, how much longer do you have here this trip? One day. One day. Leave I was say, yeah. Yeah. Come back for the tour in Australia. I was about to say there's a pretty yeah. massive tour coming yeah. up and. There wasn't one much long ago either. No, no, yeah. But I think that's what kind of happens in your album cycle. Mm. Sort of have two couple big tours, and the last one wasn't. Last one was just capital city. So this one, you know, we're going out to other places, hitting, hitting the rage spots. Go and rage. <laughs> what are your experiences like in the regional areas in contrast to? Capitals? They're always, um, always way more full on. Just like people, like there'll be a punch up. Yeah, people get there's blood. There's blood. Windows get smashed. Yeah. People people get on stage. Yeah. People like, jump on stage. People move. Keeps you on your stage. toes. Yeah. It's definitely like there's a sense of like when you play at a capital city, you kind of know what's going to happen. But shit, weird stuff always happens when you go to like Mornington or Ballarat. Oh, what's that place in Perth? Uh, Dun, Dun. Bunbury. Bunbury. <laughs> yeah, it's always, these are always like exciting places. And it has been quite an exciting time since you released your new album. And as you said, you're sort of in that album cycle at the moment. How are you feeling at this point? It's been out for a little while now. What, what do you feel the reception has been like? And, and how are you going to be moving forward with it? Um, well, I think as far as like, we're just going to keep, we're just going to tour it, I guess. and and do that and all the stuff but I think we're both looking forward to writing like writing again and then I, we haven't even talked about how we move forward physically or whatnot but it, that'll that'll just come I think once we get, we get stuck time, once we get so, some time yeah, um, because touring definitely and practicing for shows you can't do but like I find it really hard to do both writing and and touring at the same time are really difficult um, and then it's been great it's just been it's my favourite album I think it's some other people's favourite album so that makes me feel good it's 2011 that's right I mean but it has it has been a progression I mean there's sort yeah. of that there's, there's, it, it's still kind of young and fun, but there's a maturity to it. Whereas the earlier stuff is a, is a bit more focused on the playful. I mean, yeah. is that, would that be a fair assessment? I don't think. Well, I think I was. I always feel like. I just, I don't know. I guess we're playful, but I, I never really thought of it as being playful. I always felt like there was just a spirit, like there was an energy and a spirit that's, that comes with being in the greats in a way. And I think that there's one. Um, I think there's like elements of it on this album, but I think it's definitely with writing this album, it was more 
like there was just more intent behind it. And I think it got more refined the fact that it was just John and I. You know, we had to communicate not in an entirely different way. Just when 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 it's two people, I think there's more. It just got more focused. As soon as you as soon as you take out an element, I think whatever's left. You know, it has to. You have to work what you've got left harder because, you know, you've got less stuff. And um, you know, and I think that worked out. I think it worked out for the best. Just having to, just you have to just bring what you're good at and really work it. Yeah. Looking at your time in New York, I mean, did that influence the resulting album? Yeah, I think I think definitely just being separated from from our homes and our lives in Australia, and kind of starting starting this fresh fresh city with you know making new friends and learning learning what was important to us. I think it influenced more than more than the actual city. Yeah, well, we spent a lot of time just in a in a, a like a band room that doesn't have any windows. So yeah, you just spent everyone's like, oh, the city like. I spent, I mean, spent the most, the majority of my time in New York was actually just spent in one grey room, and then it was just spent in like doing twelve-hour days in the studio. So, which, I don't know. which didn't have any windows either. Yeah, that had not. You can't have windows when you're doing things with music because they're just a place for sound to escape. And you need something to be soundproof. You know, there's, there's generally, especially if it's done on the cheap, windows the first thing to go. It costs money to put a soundproof window in. I, mean, I feel like um, I spent a lot of time in a small room. And the biggest influence was that just our parents were dropping around our house while we were in the middle of working and stuff. I think. And you're just like, <laughs> ah! There's no one, no one to interrupt you. Yeah. And then if you need to like communicate with somebody about something, you know, you're not generally on the same time zone, so everything's always delayed. You always feel like I can immediately work when I'm here and then send emails when I get home at night because that's like daytime in Australia but I've already done all my shit and then just get into it. Get in the routine of just like because you don't have any distractions just working in, in you know to a routine and a schedule that's good that was really awesome as an Australian band how has New York treated you in terms of audiences and things like that what does it mean to be an Australian artist in America and specifically New York do you think know what it means. I know that it's probably hard. I think it's, I think it's in some ways it's hard for any Australian band going to other places just because of our size and our population and I guess how, you know, we're viewed because there's a whole bunch of people that go like Australian bands, great stock, hard working, we love them. And then there are other people that, are, you know, it's just like, oh, it's great that you're Australian, but I'm going to, I'm going to give my attention to American bands first because we are we live in the same country, so you know it's good. It's good and bad, and um, it's it's brilliant to tour. Really, if you're an Australian band, get a van yeah, driving funnest, around. Funnest, funnest country funnest, to tour. Funnest country to tour. Um, and I forgot the question. <laughs> What's it mean being an Australian band? Oh, in New York? oh right. I don't know either. I just came over here. Just did it. Didn't really think about it. It's had fun. Beer's cheap. Touring's good. Food's great. That's what I I'm, I just focused on that, <laughs> and then hope the rest would follow suit. You mentioned a restaurant before. You're quite a fan of. Yeah, it's well, it's, it's so many, but there's um. Whenever, whenever I'm in like a few kilometres of this like bakery, it's this vegan bakery called Baby Cakes. It's really close. I'm talking to the camera lady. It's right around the corner and they're open till night, you should go. It's on Broom Street and oh, oh, it's so good. And there's a dumpling place around the corner too. But although the sausages at the Aussie barbecue today are very delicious, I'm going to be hitting that again. <laughs> I think I think I'll be joining you yeah. joining you on that one. And the rest of the year you've got a massive tour coming up. Yeah. I imagine that's going to pretty much round out the year. Yeah, that's definitely going to round out. Well, I think Falls will technically... That'll be like that will round out the year, and then we'll just have to um I don't know jump head first into some stuff next year. Hopefully, just like um like the first time maybe we can write write music with other people, something we we haven't done in a long time <laughs> or ever before. Yeah. Anyone in mind? Um, 
I'm gonna really, I'm gonna try. I haven't talked. I want to try to like make Luke Boredom come around and write a song with me. He's the guy out of Violet Soho, but I haven't asked him yet. Well, let's hopefully let's put it out there and, and see what comes back. I, I couldn't imagine him saying that. Well, yeah, I have to, I have to like offer him some food. Let's see how it goes. We might, we might blow up at each other. He's got crazy arrangement ideas. Well, whatever comes out of that would be very interesting. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Pleasure. And yeah, looking forward to, to getting to see you again. It'll be fun. Pretty good. All right. <laughs>